So I want to talk a little bit about some changes I've made to my live stream and a little behind the scenes on it. So I've been using the GoPro Hero 7 Black for probably a month now. Um, I'm not overly impressed with the live stream stability, I guess you'd call it, as far as like staying connected and being a reliable live stream source. So I've tried, you know, reinstalling apps and watching videos and all of those things, and I just cannot seem to get it to work correctly. Now, I do not have fast internet here at my house. That could be part of the problem. Maybe it's Wi-Fi interference with something else in the house. I don't know. I mean, I I really did try everything. I changed the settings in the GoPro from 2.4 to 5 on the Wi-Fi. You know, I've played with the Bluetooth. done a lot of things that I'm just not getting any sort of a reliable connection um, that's going to work for outdoor live streaming without a lot of headache. So I upgraded to a capture card. And this is the capture card. I got an Elgato, um, which is a good name. And what this does is it turns your GoPro basically into a webcam. So I have the GoPro hardwired into the laptop, which is a USB out into the Elgato, which takes a mini HDMI into the GoPro outside into this Elgato capture card, which then takes that into a HDMI to USB into your laptop so you can run this program here is OBS, which I think is like kind of the standard everybody uses for, um, you know, gaming cams, webcams, all that stuff. So, so far, once I got it set up, it seems to be very reliable. Um, I don't know how long I've been live streaming this morning, but there's been no issues. Uh, the sound is good. The video quality is good. Overall, pretty happy with it so far, but I, I did just start doing this, so we will see how it does long term. So basically, instead of using the live stream capabilities of the GoPro, I have hardwired the power from the GoPro inside the house here into here. So it's direct power. So it's never gonna run low on battery. Um, and that's a type C connection to the GoPro. And I have hardwired the HDMI output in the GoPro into the laptop using the capture card and we have basically an outdoor webcam, um, which is the first reason I bought the GoPro originally. Now, I, I love the video capability, and there's stuff that it does really well. The webcam has not been as reliable as I would like it to be, and I hope this is the solution. So I'll do a video on how to set all of this up, the OBS software. Um, it's actually pretty simple, a couple little things you gotta know. Um, the basics of what this does, I'll give you a quick overview, is it takes the back end of Facebook and you get a stream key. And you have to set this up, and this is where I made a mistake at first. I, I was going live, but it wasn't going anywhere. So you actually have to click in the OBS software to go live, and then you get to this page on Facebook where you select where you want it to go. So I want it to go to my Spartan Eye Photography site, and that it is live and you use this stream key and that will stream to your site um, kind of in the back end of everything a little different than just going into facebook and clicking live um, but that that is how it works that's how it live streams so far good results uh, we're waiting for some birds this morning which i think we did have some out there um, but but so far the quality and everything looks good and i'm happy with it um, I'll do like a short video on the Elgato um, capture card itself and how to set it up in this, but I just want to do a little behind the scenes of how I'm live streaming now, how I hope it's better and uh, more reliable and the quality is good for the end user. Um, I will actually show you another little trick. Um, it doesn't really apply to this a lot, except if you have cats in your house like I do and you're leaving something like this set here, they're gonna get on the keyboard and push all the buttons and ruin it. So, in Windows, if you push uh, the Windows button right here, 
at the same time you push the L key, it will lock your screen and you have to put in your password to unlock it. So you can hit Windows L, lock your screen, and then no matter what happens touching the buttons, nothing happens to your live stream. So that's like a little trick of uh, anybody who has pets or kids that touch their laptop screen when they're trying to do stuff like this. Windows and L locks the keyboard so um, nobody can get in it without the password and it keeps your live stream going without like comments or anything from your animals or children so anyways that's a short behind the scenes obs software live stream to facebook with an elgato capture card uh this is the i'll have to look it up it's like the h60s model um and i'll do uh, like an unboxing and a video on that too but uh that's it for today. Just a little behind the scenes on the live stream and how my new live stream setup is. Hopefully it's a lot better than the old one. Um, comment, message, if you need a little more advice on how to do this or if you're thinking about doing this, I might be able to save you some time with some of the mistakes I've made. Um, so just comment or private message me or whatever and I'll try to get back to you and answer those questions. Thanks.